Hi designers, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to go through the process of setting up character and paragraph styles in Adobe Illustrator. So in Illustrator, make sure you have character and paragraph styles open by going to Window, Type, and here's Character Styles and Paragraph Styles. I have them grouped within a panel here. So the benefit of using character and paragraph styles is when you have a document such as this with headings and paragraph text, if we want to make an update for any of that styling of text, we want it to update uniformly across the document. And I'll show you an example of that. So for these headings, I have them at 12 point, it's using bold, and it may also have a letting height. And if I look at the paragraph, I have a four point space after the paragraph. And that gives us a nice gap between the heading and the paragraph text. So what I'm going to do now is highlight that heading and under character styles, let's click the plus sign to add a new character style. And we can double click it to give it a new name. Let's say that's a heading two, this top heading might be a heading one. And now I'm going to select the other headings and apply that character style. Another thing we can do is highlight the text and use the eyedropper. And you'll see that it assigned that heading two character style. So let's go ahead and add this last one. So now we've assigned the character style, but we still need to add the paragraph style to get the spacing after it. So under paragraph styles, click the plus sign. I'm just going to use an abbreviation of H2 for heading two. And now I need to apply the heading two or use the eyedropper. Now I could have created both the character and paragraph styles and then use the eyedropper to more efficiently apply both character and paragraph styles. So now we have all of the headings created. Let's go ahead and add this paragraph styling. And I currently do not have any paragraph spacing added. So I'm just going to assign that paragraph style to the other text. And let's add one more for this caption text. And since this is point text versus this being in a text area where I have two character styles in one text box, these are point text or they're using just one style of text. So I'm going to select all of these and apply the caption character style. And now you can see if I want to adjust all of those headings, I can double click on the character style. And with the preview checkbox turned on, I can see what this looks like when I increase or decrease the text, change the font style, maybe change the font family. So you can see how nice that is that it dynamically updates everywhere. You could even change the case to all caps and click OK. And then same with the paragraph text or the captions. I also want to note that paragraph styles can include alignment, hyphenation, and bullets or numbering. This two-page letter size document is available as a template on my website. I'll post a link in the description. And it does include these character styles and paragraph styles, as well as some placeholder images. And on the captions, I've created a graphic style with the outer glow and drop shadow. I hope this video helps with your workflow. If it did, please like the video and subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Take care.